And then without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, we turn our um, evangelist loose, evangelist Margaret, and come and preach to us tonight. Evangelist.
if we really know how big God is. I mean, if God's big enough, then He can be somewhere in another country. Yeah. And He can be right here at the healing center too. Come on. He can be at your house. Come he can on. be at your house. He can be at everybody's home. And He's still with us all. That's a big God. A big God. So it lets me know my problem, even though the doctor tried to magnify it and make it sound so bad and so big, it's small to God. Come on, Wade. It's small to Him. It's Got not that crazy right. Lord. Praise God. Because He's just let me realize and learn more about Him and His power and doing something more in my life than, than, that I need Him to do. You know, that sometimes when we're going through these places in our life, God is trying to make you. Yeah. He's trying to, he, he, He's training you. He's teaching you. Yeah. And every trial and every valley that we go through is because He's bringing us to a, a different place. It's kind of like going from kindergarten to first grade. Then first grade to second grade. Second grade to third grade. I mean, you can't go to first grade and learn everything in the fifth grade. No. Unless you're some kind of genius, I guess you could. <laughs> but I know one thing. Some of us even have to fail in first grade. Look out now. You have to take it over. Watch out. So I'm telling you something. I just believe that we need to come as Jesus as little children. As little children. And we, like I said last night, we need to humble ourselves to God. He said if we humble ourselves and seek His face and turn from our wicked ways, then we'll hear from heaven. And, and he'll heal our land. Yes, he will. You know, he goes to pray and seek his face. And I just believe that uh, God has tried to tell us tonight that whatever you need, God is able to give you to you. He's, he's able to deliver you. Come on. He's able to make a way for you. He said he'd make a way in the wilderness and rip us in the desert. Wow. He'd go before you and make every crooked place straight. Amen. That's what he said. So everything is crooked in our life and, and ahead of us. He'll make it all straight. Yeah. He'll straighten it up. But you know what? There's some things you got to let go of. Come on. There's some things you got to let go of. You got to let it go. You got you to gotta stop, regroup. Get your focus on the Lord. And no matter what, what's going on around you, you just got to be determined to go toward that goal. Just seeking the Lord. Just going toward God. You can't let people uh, talk to you unless you're getting godly counsel. Amen. There's too many people and voices trying to give everybody advice. Uh -huh. But you got to have godly counsel. And make sure the person that's giving it to you has godly counsel. Yes. Not just because they're calling themselves a Christian. Right. If it don't say it in this Bible, if it's not in this Word, then it's not godly counsel. All right. All right. Because he's got answers for all of our questions in the Word. Yeah. And I just believe that God, even me, I was telling Michael, I said, I got to start reading my Bible more. Come on with it. I can't, you know, I don't read my Bible like I'm supposed to. And that's one of my problems, that I that I really need to start getting back in His Word. So, and, and you know, uh, I, I don't have, I'm really going to help me with it, or Michael can. But I've been praying, and I, and I've been talking to God for a couple of weeks about, Lord, why is this happening to me? What is this thing? I mean, i got to get that box today, you know, but they're already telling me what it is, you know, through all the diagnostics yeah. and all that stuff. So I said, what is Why? What is this here? You know, I'm like, I don't receive this. You know, what is this? And, and it keeps coming to my mind. It keeps coming to my mind. And I thought it's just like, maybe I'm going crazy or something. Maybe I'm flipping out. But you know what? The word foreign object. Say it. Say it. Foreign object. Uh huh. So, in fact, it's been going on so long with me that I've been hearing that. And I've been feeling that. And, and it's been in my mind. So, today, for the first time, I told Brother Lambert. Yeah. And I said, can you come here a minute? i got to I gotta tell you something. I said, I keep, in my mind, I keep on thinking, foreign object. What is a foreign object? So he Googled it on his phone. And he's going to let you hear 
what it said about the born off. Because I did not. Right. 
And buddy, if you hurt and you cry and you faint yep. and, and you go through all these things you've been dealing with, uh -huh. the devil just laughs about, oh yeah, I got him going now. I got him going now. Yeah. Oh, oh, I ain't through with him yet. I got another way coming out. Yeah. He never stopped. Yeah. But I know one thing. As we seek God and we own our